Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mizuma channel. So I have another uh, secret entrance for you guys today. And yeah, it's completely hidden and flush with the floor. And we just have to press this button. Ta-da! And we can get in. This is how it looks from the other side. Uh, yeah, you can also of course close it from the other side. And you can see the pistons here. <laughs> and they kind of look like a staircase as well. But um, if you actually extend uh, the, the staircase, it's completely seamless, it's, it won't show any pistons. So yeah, and you can just close it. Yeah, of course you can use a hidden input here or something like that. And yeah, the redstone is very compact for this, so maybe let's uncover all of this and I can show you. ta -da! This is the redstone behind it, guys. It's super compact, only three wide and activated by a button. So yeah, let's see this in action. This is where you activate it. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? It doesn't have the staircases though. It's a kind of blocky staircase and it works in a, uh, with a, a wooden button as well, but it's, it gets just a little bit slow. And it also works uh, with any kind of input really. Uh, just in case you don't know, some things in Minecraft uh, only work if you if you power it directly uh, with a button. But if you have to extend your wire and use repeaters to power something, sometimes it won't work. And this is this is a really silly thing in Minecraft, a bug probably. But it it works with anything you you want to power this. So before we do a tutorial on it, uh, I want to explain how the circuits work they are kind of interesting and my channel is kind of about it how how things work and how uh, I can help you learn more about redstone and if you're an advanced redstoner you probably know it all uh, but if you're not maybe you can learn something from my explanations so let's first have a look at the double extender that I use there uh, and this is how it works I just have this block updating those two um, observer blocks here and they can do the easy uh, double extension and retraction here. I could have moved uh, the observer block itself but it was more convenient to do it like so there so I did. And the triple extender is a little bit more complicated. This is the setup I use it. So what I do is I spit this block out then I place this guy here and do a double extension. And then for retraction, I just do double retraction, get this guy out of the way and grab this block. So this would be kind of a ideal uh, sequence for uh, this piston setup here. But I do something uh, different. Uh, instead, I use a single sequence and when I apply the sequence the first time, the block ends up here. And when I apply the same sequence again, the block ends up there, uh, thus retracting everything. So. This is a trick that you guys need to learn if you want to not only do more compact uh, redstone but also simpler redstone. So what I do is uh, I post this guy here, then I get this, and when this piston is at this height, I just one tick this, and then I retract everything. Although it's not necessary for the for the extension, I do retract everything, and I even post this guy grabbing a virtual block of air here, uh, which is not uh, really necessary. But, oops, did a mistake here. So, yeah, so let's do this again. Place this, one tick this, and then retract everything. So, when it's time to retract, I, once again, I pulse this as if I'm extending because it's the same sequence. And then I place this guy here, do a double extension. Then I will one tick this guy again. I didn't need it, but since it's the same circuit, it, it will just do the same thing, but it will retract it this time. And then do this, and this, and this. And the purple circuit is kind of interesting, uh, because I used uh, a pretty cool trick here. The first, the first pulse comes from this observer block here. When we power the circuit, this piston extends, so it updates this observer block here, and then we get the first pulse out of this. And then I do the, the, the whole uh, double extender deal and the double extender ends up here. So then I have to grab this block like this. And to do that, I use this trick here. Uh, I, powered, uh, I powered this to extend it there and then I get some delay here and then I grab this observer block 
and then when this updates again, the observer blocks detected and this block is spit out uh, down here. And when we move observer blocks, they output a pulse again, and this pulse goes directly into this redstone dust, so I can I can grab this piston from that position to that position. And the trick here is that the, the pulses that come out of observer blocks are too fast for redstone torches to catch them. So this torch will not respond to this pulse, otherwise it would create a clock here. So yeah, I just this, this torch will just ignore the pulse. As will the, the, the comparators, this is why I have a comparator here, because it won't respond to this pulse, so that this piston will not uh, place this block up there again before this guy gets a chance to uh, to pull it back. And then I'm left with one uh, block here that I need to pull down and in order to do that I just get some delay here and go around and I activate this piston again without powering this line because if I do I will activate the whole thing again. So this this guy gets powered and then a pulse gets in here through this piece of redstone dust. So this is the purple circuit, quite interesting. And finally uh, this extension should be super simple, really. <laughs> no double, no triple, no nothing, but it, it wasn't really simple actually. You can see I use a lot of extra uh, observer blocks here just because of this. Uh, because since we use the, the, the button here, it will activate uh, observer blocks twice. Once it, uh, it activates and once again when it deactivates. So I get two pulses, which means that if I want to pull this block, it will pull the block and then get another pulse and place it back there. So we need a odd number of pulses and not a even number of pulses. Ideally, we want only one pulse. So what I do here is I place this block here and I grab one pulse. And when it pulses the second time, this block's not there anymore. One pulse and then it pulses again, the block's not there. So yeah, uh, it pulses only once. And that's it for the, the explanation of the circuit and now you guys are probably tired of me talking so let's go ahead and build this. Alright, as usual let's start with the piston layout. Uh, so this is the surface level. So down from that you need three blocks because it's a triple. And then you will also need one layer before the, the actual floor. Uh, yeah, we need to, to wire that section. And let's complete the piston layout. You can just pause the video and build this. So place one piston here, another one here, and this completes the double piston extender. Let's start at the back uh, with the double extender, uh, which is the green circuit I showed you guys previously. So uh, we need an observer block right here, and another one here, and we do the same uh, with the opposite side. So uh, it's kind of difficult to place. And then we get a piston here, and I have no idea how this piston gets powered, but it does. Uh, and while we are here, why not uh, also build the bottom section and place those guys here and here. So they go just underneath uh, this piston here. And we also need an updater piston here, and it should be a regular piston here and there. So yeah, this is the green circuit and something else. Okay, let's finish the bottom section by placing this guy here, and this here, and this here. Let's do the same here. If you can't get that low, just in case, you can also place the observer block here and push it down using a piston. Uh, and here. Uh, so now we can start with the red circuit and wire it like so. You could as well use redstone dust here, and by the way we have redstone dust here, and have a repeater on two ticks here, but using two repeaters is a little bit more expensive, but it's more uh, stable, so you should do that, because this wire will power this guy, but it's it powers it in a weird way that might uh, change in the future, so yeah, we don't want to mess with that. So. Yeah, this is the bottom section and we need those two pistons here and also you can place repeaters here and here and that should be it for the red circuit okay now for the purple circuit uh, it goes like this and dust here torch there and if you see lamps now use it in redstone circuit circuits it's kind of weird but 
they are necessary because they create a little bit of delay that is something we definitely need. So now we get an observer facing this way so the detector is here and a uh, sticky piston facing down and now we can connect this side using a comparator here and redstone dust and it's important that we have also um, a solid block here because of the, the observer blocks that we have down there and we can also grab a signal from here and use a solid block here and probably fix this piston here so let's do the other side so purple here and there with redstone dust here yeah i made uh, it correct on the other side so torch and lamp and use a detector here another one here and another one here and then sticky piston facing down uh, fix this guy up here now a post comes from up here get another block there fill this in and we're done here so all that's left to do now is to place another one facing up here so you know that you have uh, two of them and then another one here and another one there and it should be done your input connects here so let's test it so the sides are a little bit different that's because i <laughs> i use a day repeater on two ticks here so let's fix uh, whatever we have to uh, apparently we don't have anything to fix so yeah this is cool you can have you don't need any special uh, kind of block here so you can have even a glowstone here which is cool because gives gives you a light effect when you open the secret entrance so let's activate this again and you don't even need to hook up a t flip flop to this just extend this redstone line uh, to whatever you want and hook it up to a button or something and it will work uh, just like this so it's super simple to make and i really hope that you guys enjoyed the explanation and all the things really so thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time bye